Before we get started, always remember, safety first. Use eye and ear protection when you need it. I can't find safety glasses, but I'm gonna use ear protection. Music. So I started out by getting the lumber I needed for this project. I'd need 2x4s, 2x6s, and 1x4s. The first thing I needed to do was cut a 2x6 into 10 pieces for the seat of the bench. I then laid them all out so I could get the exact measurements to build the frame. I lined them up the best I could to get the most accurate measurements. Once I had the length correct, I could get the measurements for the width. I put them into place to make sure that they fit properly. To attach the boards I used a pocket hole jig and pocket hole screws to make sure it had a strong joint. If you've never used a pocket hole jig, you need to get one. One of my friend's dad just mailed me one and I am blown away at how awesome it works. Then glue and screw everything together. Check often to make sure everything is square. And then repeat the same process for the other side. I then pre-drilled all the holes. I made sure to glue all the pieces down. I skipped the two middle boards because those are gonna be where the hidden storage go. Once everything was glued, I just went and screwed everything down. Started with one screw on each board just to make sure everything lined up properly. Then I took the two middle boards out and put them aside for later. Now I started on the legs. I cut three 2x4s for the front and three for the back. I ripped one of the boards for each front and back in half. So these parts that we just split, this is gonna make the legs. And I then pre-drilled and screwed in the legs. If any of the glue ever squeezes out from the sides, you can always use sawdust. Just put it in the gaps and rub it off and most of the glue either comes off or the sawdust stays in and you can stain over it. To attach the legs, I measured up 18 inches because that's how high I want the seat of the bench. I then pre-drilled the holes. I just flipped the board over, matched up the holes and did the other side. I then glued and screwed it down. I only drilled in one screw at the top, then I made sure it was square before I put the other screws in. I just repeated the same process for the rest of the leg. Now we're going to start working on the back. I just ripped the 2x4 in half so I can make a frame for the back. We're going to make the frame for the back. It goes right here, and basically it's going to be like this, and then a piece on top, and these boards in the middle. Again, I just use the pocket hole jig. I'm always blown away how strong these joints are. Once I lined everything up, I just pre-drilled and screwed it in.
If you didn't make sure the legs were squared at the beginning, putting the back on would be really hard. I designed the bench to have five planks for the bat, and so I just measured and cut them. I knew I needed a filler piece on each side to make sure that the back planks were level. So I cut and then glued and screwed them in. Then I just pre-drilled and screwed in the back planks. It's really starting to come together now. So now we're going to work on the storage part underneath. To assemble this is exactly like you did the first part of the frame. I just glued and screwed them together with pocket hole screws. Now that we've made the bottom box for the storage, we just need to screw it into the post and we'll be good. To make the storage on the bottom, I used a 2x10 and a 2x12. I then cut a 2x12 to size to fit to the bottom, pre-drilled and screwed it in. So the only thing left to do in the storage was to add a little piece right here and on the other side, and now it's solid on the inside. You have a lip going all the way around, so whenever uh, you have a seat top, it has something to sit on. And uh, Then I just placed the planks to make sure they fit again. And then I use pocket hole screws and glue to attach the two boards together. Then I just ripped the 2x4 in half to make a trim for the front. Make sure to cut the exact length for the middle board so it fits properly. It makes a nice clean lip around the outside so whenever you put the boards in it looks nice and clean. For the bottom skirt of the bench I measured and made sure they fit properly. And then with magic I made them attach themselves. All we have left now is to make the armrest. I just cut notches so it can attach to the side and then round it out the front. I just made sure I sanded it all down so it was nice and smooth, even though the belt broke. Then I measured up the front of the armrest with the back to make sure it'd be level. Then I pre-drilled and screwed it in. I made sure the front was even with the back and then pre-drilled and screwed it in with three screws. And there you go, that's how you build a rustic bench. You can uh, stain it, paint it, finish it however you want, leave it natural, it's up to you. And uh, the hidden storage, it just slides out. You can always cut it right there, make a hinge that comes up so you can open it. It's a pretty easy project, it only takes a few hours, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's recording. So? So why would you move it? What's the matter?